Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, you may have heard that uh, a certain video was leaked. Uh, it was the, the gloves are off between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Um, it wasn't the full the full interview. The full gloves are off. I think this was about 12, 12 and a half minutes. Um, I watched it earlier today. Um, perhaps some of you have already seen it. But... Um, not much was really said, but there were a couple of things that sort of, it made me think this fight's going to go ahead because I did have doubts. I'm not saying, I was I was sort of 60-40 that it would go ahead previously, but it kind of alleviated a lot of my doubts as to, or fears if you like, that it might, someone might pull out. And there are two, there are two points I would make. First of all, I like the way Fury looked. And I don't mean his body, because he was sitting down. You couldn't really see his middle and everything, but his face. His face looked healthy. It looked, his jawline looked quite cut. And that implies to me that he has been training properly um, and that he's been taking the weight off properly, not just going – it's not just a fat camp. He's actually training, probably doing his sparring, didn't have any abrasions on his face. Uh, but he looked good. He looked pretty healthy in the face. Um, I also liked the way he was talking. That's the other thing. And it wasn't he was throwing insults around because he wasn't. He was very, very respectful, as was Usek. Usek was just sitting there, you know, a very, very amiable guy, Usek, as we know, quite a funny guy without even meaning to be funny at times. Um, it was kind of, OK, I've got to do this. What do you want to hear? So he sort of said the right things, talked about the fight and didn't really say anything profound at all. Didn't even attempt to get under Fury's skin or, or he, he didn't. In fact, Usek didn't praise or or ridicule Fury. There was none of that went on. He was just there. To, they asked him questions. He answered it in one or two lines with a translator in most cases. Uh, his English isn't great. But Fury, he was very, very respectful and my theory with Fury is, you may agree, you may disagree, you can tell me in the comments below, is that when he gets aggressive, when he starts to try and intimidate people, when he's, when the insults, insults start flying, it's because he has self-doubts. He has that bully boy mentality and he's got to puff his chest out and he's got to get in people's faces and he's got to start calling them every name under the sun. And it's really to beef himself up and to try to get to the opponent, either intimidate them or get under their skin, make them act in a way that isn't natural to them, make them act perhaps irrationally, make them think things that they weren't previously thinking. Um, they call this mind games, but it, it's real playground stuff to me. I don't, mind games implies there's some sort of great intellect there. There isn't. Um, playground bullies, you could say, use mind games. Because, you know, intim anyone can intimidate anyone else potentially, if they're bigger and stronger than them. Well, Usyk, you're not going to get under his skin. You're not going to intimidate Usyk. He's a fighting man. Um, whatever you think of it, you know, he's a, he's a man of faith, as he claims to be Fury. Um, so it, there's that psychological hook, which I guess both of them hang, there, hang any sort of doubts on. But with Fury, um, when he's being respectful and when he's being polite and when he's, you know, talking in very sort of seemingly honest terms. Well, he might beat me. The best man will win. Um, I, I think I'm going to win. But, you know, I respect him. He's a man of God like I am, blah, 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 blah. It does imply that he's in a good place. And he's he might even be trying to disarm the opponent. But the point is he doesn't need to feel the need to puff his chest out to start ranting and raving. That's normally a sign of some sort of insecurity. And Fury says, well, no, it's... Uh, you know, it's just fun and games. It's just promoting the fight. I don't think it is. I don't think this, this fight don't need promoting. You know, we've been wanting it for God knows how long. It's for the undisputed heavyweight title. I don't see, um, I don't see there, there any sort of need for there to be any um, bells and whistles to this. I think it's we're all going to be watching if if it takes place. But I, I genuinely, I mean, my prior to this, I was sort of sixty forty that it would go ahead. Now I'm sort of eighty twenty. And it was really the vibe I got from Fury. And of course, I could be wrong. I could be watching it. We all watch things and interpret them differently. 
I can only give you my opinion. Uh, it's the only one I've got to give. But I did get a good vibe from Fury. And I said when when there was the the aftermath of the Unganu debacle, I said, if you look at my previous videos, I said, don't write Fury off because he is he operates best when his back's against the wall. Okay, he didn't go ahead as was originally planned on the 23rd of December. That was never going to happen. He had some abrasions, minor abrasions, and I think it was a slight cut or something uh, under his eye, I think it was. Anyway, that didn't happen. But I thought that Nganu fight might be a wake-up call, that if he wants to beat Usek, he's got to actually start taking it seriously. He's got to start training properly, dieting properly, looking at the guy, studying him, um, working on his skills. People say, well, that's a statement of the obvious. No, it isn't. Sometimes you can presume, oh, well, I've got the skills. I don't need to work on them. Well, actually, no, you do. You need to hone your skills. You need to sharpen everything. You need to sharpen yourself mentally, which he's, he didn't look to me like he, he sparred a single round for the Nganu fight. And it certainly didn't look like he had any game plan or that he'd, he'd taken Nganu remotely seriously, um, which was stupidity on his part because Nganu, although a complete novice in a, in a boxing ring under Queensbury rules, is a very, very powerful combat sportsman and extremely physically strong and hits hard. So more full fury, you know, but that may have been the wake up call he needed. And he, I've always said this all along. He knows Usek can beat him. I'm not saying will beat him. He knows Usek is a genuine threat. And it came across because of there was a certain positivity, a certain energy, a certain, I wouldn't say, quite say serenity, but there, at least it was, it was all, it, it was, it smacked of fury thinking or saying, I'm in a good place. And that is why I think, yeah, the fight probably will go ahead, bar, bar a, a genuine injury, which, fingers crossed, we ain't going to get that. As far as Usyk's concerned, his demeanour, like I say, there wasn't much to read into it, not really. But having watched, having watched this thing twice now, I did think, hmm, he seems quite, there's a sort of undercurrent of determination, of, of steeliness there. Because for all the you know, jokes we make about Usek of, of the way he comes across and so on. The, the, this guy's a tough guy. This guy's a genuine fighting man. This guy is a warrior. And I wonder if the previous fight with Dubois, especially in light of how well Dubois did against Miller and got that excellent comeback win, comeback in inverted commas, um, Usek, that being, you know, flawed, in, again, in inverted commas, by the body punch, that may have been a wake-up call to him. And I don't think he'll need telling about Tyson Fury. He knows that Tyson Fury, never mind that Nganu thing, he'll, he will know. I'm not judging him on the Nganu fight. That would be absolutely ridiculous. This guy's taking me seriously. And I think uh, there was a certain, again, a certain undercurrent with Usyk of sort of steely determination, as if, you know, I'm on a mission. And this is a mission that, this is the culmination of my whole career. Even though I've been an Olympic gold medalist and I was undisputed at Cruiserweight, this is the big one. Um, I really got that from Usyk as well. And as I've said before, Usyk is not a small man. He's six foot three and he's he's settled into that heavyweight division. And he took, you know, he, he twice beat Anthony Joshua. And for some people, inexplicably, they dismissed Joshua as just a hype job. He never was. He was a very, very good fighter. Is a very, very good fighter. And Usyk just, I'll stop short of saying toyed with him, but he certainly won most of those 24 rounds, didn't he? Um, and that's... And also on top of that, you've got the Dubois fight. I mean, I think that there's an awful lot of good stuff in uh, in Usek's mind as well as Fury's. I really got a very, very overall, a very, very positive feeling watching this 12 and a half minutes of the gloves are off. I think this is this could be a great, great fight. And I think we will get both guys coming in at their you know, optimum weights and mentally prepared and all the rest of it, emotionally prepared. I think we're in for a good one. I really do. I had doubts before I watched this, a little few doubts, niggling doubts, but they've been kind of, like I say, they've been sort of flatlined a little bit. But let me know what you think. If you've seen this, um, tell me if you agree with something I've said or disagree with something I've said. Leave all your comments below. Uh, as long as we keep it respectful, we're all adults, we can disagree. Thanks very much for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button. It always helps. But yeah, Thanks for your time. I'll catch you later. Looking forward to your comments and bye for now.